Hey guys, how's it going? Dan here and welcome to a very special and very different video because today, as many of you guys know, is the 17th of March. Now the 17th of March is a very special day for me and for Gemma as well because this is the day that we got married today five years ago. That's insane. We have been married for five years. We have been together for just over nine years and it's a very special occasion. Five years is a big deal to be married to someone. And today I've got something very special to show you. I, I don't know why I haven't thought of this before. Before a wedding, uh, if you guys don't know for whatever reason, the groom always does a speech. Now, what I did at my wedding was I actually made a video for my speech. I kind of Kind of copped out a little bit, especially five years ago. I was a super shy, super nervous guy and speaking in front of like 100 people shook me to my core. I was super nervous. So I thought, you know what? I probably won't be able to get my message across well enough in person. So I thought I'd make a video instead so that I can get my message across properly and hopefully make a good wedding speech. And hopefully kind of shake it up a little bit as well and do something a little bit different. Now back then in 2013, I had only had my channel for a very small time. I believe I'd only just got like 10,000 subscribers. And I did this speech in the style of a draw my life. So it was like, I think it might've even been like an old iPhone 4 in a bay window of one of our old houses that we rented together for a while, just because the lighting was amazing. It was literally on an iPhone, a whiteboard and a pen, and I did it while Jen was at work. And I came up with this. I can remember slight bits of it, but I can't actually remember the whole thing. So without further ado, let's check out my groom speech from my wedding, mine and Gemma's wedding, five years years ago. Now the person who did our wedding, uh, they said in quotation marks, it was the best wedding speech they have ever seen and they have done over 400 weddings. So I don't know. I feel pretty proud of that <laughs> considering how nervous I was. So let's do it. I'm going to press play. I literally have no idea what to expect. So I hope it's as good as I'm, <laughs> as he hyped it up to be. Let's go. So some may call this cheating a little bit, but this is the best way for me to get across to you what this day means to me without See, that's what I mean. Exactly the same thought process as, as I had five years ago. And do you hear my voice? Dude, this is so weird. It's like watching my first ever YouTube video again. Let's continue. I'm messing it up completely. So first of all, I want to thank you all for sharing this special day with the both of us. It means a lot for all of you to be here to witness this special occasion and to actually see me in a suit for- <laughs> I love how I had to label it me. I didn't have blue hair. I didn't have anything crazy with my hair then, so. I guess I just went with the bold me, huh? Let's take it back a little bit because I kind of cut myself off. I'll try not to pause it too much, but I want to explain little bits. Maybe I'll do that afterwards. Let's let it run. Special occasion and to actually see me in a suit for once. <laughs> the first time that Gemma and I met was in year six, even though she claims to have no recollection of it whatsoever. But we didn't really get speaking properly until we got to secondary school, where we were always put next to each other in class as our surnames came after each other's in the alphabet. <laughs> She claims to have no recollection of us meeting in year six. I mean, I still remember it. She does not. Claims to not anyway. She she probably saw me, right? These dots, by the way, are super random. I don't rub them out because this is such a ghetto setup that I had to put dots there so that I knew where not to draw outside of because it wouldn't have been in the frame. So <laughs> that's just... It just kind of shows how like DIY this video was, but it's, it's all about the message. And to be honest, our first impressions weren't really the best. Mine of Gemma were that she'd always sing loudly with her friends in the middle of class, which was great. And <laughs> oh my goodness, you're not supposed to dig at the bride on the wedding day. My oh jeez, where am I going with this? I so, I so remember this because, because we met in year six. Uh, I don't even know what grade that is. Okay, so in year six, you're 10 years old. I don't know what grade that is in America or what class that is in, in other countries. But I was 10 years old. She was 10 years old as well. That was the first time that we met. Obviously, we weren't like boyfriend and girlfriend. But then we aged up into secondary school and we were in the same class throughout our whole school life from then. And yeah, I, I completely remember this. I was all shy and just with my two little friends at the front and they would have four of their friends, including Gemma, just singing, being crazy. Uh, she was way more confident than I was. And hers of me was trying to get me to talk to her instead of just going bright red and laughing after she said hi. So we spent <laughs> most of our school life around each other, but never really talked properly until a Halloween party where we both got introduced fairly quickly to each other because of too much alcohol, orange juice. 
<laughs> Let's skip past that, shall we? Be hitting the floor right in front of her. <laughs> Did I really? Oh no. Despite this embarrassment, we continued to talk online and we clicked straight away. From small dates watching Saw together, which apparently is her least favorite film. Oh no. Oh, this is giving me proper flashbacks. Um, wow, I can't believe I mentioned this. So Saw is like an intense horror film, super gory. I, I love it. I love the Saw films. And I remember I had like this tiny little TV in my bedroom at my mom's house because we hadn't moved out yet. Me and Jem moved out together when we were 18, which is actually quite young because we were still at school. We supported ourselves completely with our own money. But this was just before then. And this was, she was like, can I come around? I was like, sure, let's watch a film. I showed her Saw. And now to this day, it's still one of our least favorite films ever. <laughs> I, I must have done something right though, huh? <laughs> to now, we have been best friends, soulmates, and I just love everything about her. Gemma, you've changed my life completely and have helped me to become who I am today. I'm much more confident with myself than I ever have been, and you make me happy every single day. I can't thank you enough for this. Another thing I would like to thank you for is for organising this amazing day, which still has so much more to come. I've got no clue when it comes to organising, and it's because of you that it has been so special. I think everyone will agree that you look stunning today, and when I finally saw you at the end of the aisle, there were only two words I wanted to say. I do. I love you, Gemma, and I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. Ah, oh, little cutie. Is that it? That's it. That's cute, man. Oh my goodness. That's so cute. But yeah, um, due to our wedding, I I'm just I'm just terrible at organizing things. She knows this. I'm the most unorganized person in the world, and she organized the most amazing day. Uh, we didn't have much money at all back then, and we were just working off of our, like, student loans, uh, what else, just part-time jobs, and we managed to save up everything. We both worked our socks off to be able to afford an amazing wedding for about 100 people, and I wouldn't change anything about it, even though, obviously, we're much more comfortable for money now, and... Uh, our situations are just completely different. I wouldn't change that day for the world. Oh my goodness, I just realized something. So, quick spin-off, which probably means nothing to you guys, but it is snowing right now in the UK, and this is ex the, the exact weather we had on our wedding day. I need, I need to go tell her, this is weird. <laughs> she thought it was weird too. But yeah, there's a lot that goes into a wedding. Uh, so much organization, so many people, and she absolutely smashed it. It, it was just an incredible day. So awesome. So there you go. That is the wedding speech that I did for my wedding five years ago. Um, I absolutely love Gemma with all my heart. I really do. And I know I'm very, very lucky to find someone that I grew up with, that is my best friend, my soulmate, everything that I said in this video. And I love her so much. She is really... Even in this video, I say that she's changed me so much for the better. And over the, f the past five years, even more so. I run everything past her. She's like a second version of me. She is an incredible person, and I know that I'm just so lucky to have her. So, Jem, if you're watching this, I love you very much. And guys, I love you very much too, but this is a different kind of love. <laughs> and I just wanted to share this with you. I share most of my life with you, so uh, I thought I'd share this little video. And I was making videos, even for important events like this, I find it the easiest way to get my point across is in a in a silly video even at one of the most important days in my life so i, I guess i was just born to make videos huh <laughs> also side note jem got me this hilarious mug for um <laughs> for, my, <laughs> for our anniversary it's got like disney princesses on but can you spot the spot the one that's not quite a disney princess here let me give you a closer look here we go let's turn him around oh there he she is <laughs> I know at the bottom it says Dan's princess mug. Pretty hilarious. So yeah, there you go. Thought I'd share that with you guys. Um, it was actually really fun to watch again because I haven't watched it for a while. And yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for already. It's only like uh, half past 11 in the morning and I've seen loads of you guys wishing us a happy anniversary, sending in your fan arts and stuff on Instagram, Twitter, all that good stuff. So um, thank you so much. I see them all even if I can't reply and like them all. Uh, thank you so much. You guys really mean the world to me, but, but there's definitely one person that means way more to me than anything else, and that's Jem, and that's who I'm going to go spend some time with. So um, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a big fat thumbs up, and that would be greatly appreciated. Subscribe if you're brand new for more silly videos like this. 
which I've obviously been making for a while. And I'll see you guys very, very soon. Go and tell the ones that you love that you love them today. And I'll see you soon. Bye. <laughs>